Here's an update on Tiki 2, our little crested gecko who was apparently hatched through parthenogenesis. If you've seen some other videos about this gecko, you know that we purchased her mother as a one month old hatchling and that she's never mated, so we're reasonably sure that this is a case of parthenogenesis, but we'd like to do some genetic analysis to make sure. Little Tiki 2 is eating well and growing well, though as you can see here, the eye defect that she was born with has become more pronounced as she grows. We wanted to collect a sample of her shed skin for genetic analysis, which is difficult since crested geckos, like many lizards, typically eat their shed skin. Finally though, we were able to collect a sample both from offspring and mother of shed skins, and we're going to send them to the professor who studies parthenogenesis. We've emailed back and forth, and Dr. Booth at the University of Tulsa in the state of Oklahoma is very interested in testing the sample, so we're going to send them his way. In addition to confirming that Tiki 2 is indeed a result of parthenogenesis, we want to determine which type of parthenogenesis has occurred. One type of parthenogenesis, known as full cloning, results in genetic copies of the mother. This is the type of parthenogenesis that is the normal form of reproduction in morning geckos and a number of other lizard species, as well as some other animals. Another type of parthenogenesis is known as half cloning. This is when a polar body, which is basically a byproduct of egg cell formation and which contains the same complement of genetic material, actually fertilizes the egg. In other words, a polar body, which normally doesn't end up doing anything, can sometimes do the job a sperm cell normally does. So in a very real sense, if Tiki 2 turns out to be a product of half cloning, that means that her mother Tiki is actually also her father. Apparently, there are very few documented cases of viable crested geckos being produced through parthenogenesis. So, we're really excited about this, and we'll let you know what we find out. Thanks for watching. I post videos every Friday, all related to keeping aquarium and vivarium pets. You're most welcome to leave a comment and a like, and for those of you who are waiting for an animal voiceover at the end, subscribe. <laughs>